Let's show you the ingredients. Bleached enriched flour, ferrous sulfate, iron, which is really toxic, synthetic vitamins, sugar, high fructose corn syrup, soy oil, dextrose, which is in synthetic sugar, monosodium glutamate, more cornstarch, artificial flavorings, and colorings. Your favorite Krispy Kreme. Wheat flour, iron again, that iron. It's gonna sit in your stomach like a lead balloon. Soybean oil, sugar, gluten, salt, chemicals, dextrose, it's a synthetic sugar, artificial flavoring, artificial coloring. It's the same ingredients. This is sugar water, okay? Incredible sugar water. Powerade, we've got uh, Gatorade. But you know what? They're going low sugar because they know people don't like sugar. That's the trend. But I'm, I'm just like amazed. Do people actually buy this product? Look at how much volume they have. Dextrose, sugar and dextrose. Two sugars, so it's all sugar. Citric acid, natural flavor, salt, monos, potassium phosphate. This is their electrolyte blend. This is a liquid sugar. Of course, you got the juice over there. And then of course we have our favorite soda over here. But everything is tending to go sugar-free eventually, I'm sure. Okay, so we're gonna try some low-fat yogurt, but of course, 15 grams of sugar per cup. 15 grams. All right, so we got the ice creams here, 16 grams of sugar. Now, when you add that much fat with that much sugar, not a good combination. You get something called AGE, advanced glycated proteins or end products, which clog up the body. Halo top, seven grams of sugar, still seven grams of sugar too much. Mayonnaise, soybean oil. So I wanna to try to find something without the GMO soybean oil. So let's try olive oil mayo, and it has canola oil, and then some additional soybean oil. So they add the canola oil, which is also GMO. We don't want that. Organic mayonnaise. Well, at least that'll be non-GMO but they have the soy oil again. I just don't want any soy oil. This is awesome. I found something I can eat, because I know this is good. Avocado oil, egg yolks, water, distilled vinegar. It does have organic cane sugar though, that's the problem. Well, it says zero, so it must be just like a little tiny bit. So this might be okay. Here's a good one too. We'll check that out. Canola, wow. And over here, Bragg's. I already know this is good right here. You can try that. And then there's one right here, Stonewall Olive Oil Basalmic Vinaigrette. This is one that I would recommend. Everything else is like corn syrup, corn oil, or soy oil. Man, look at, look at this. Look at all these carbohydrates. Massive amounts of sugar. I'm being sarcastic. This is something you can eat. Okay, salad, cucumbers. Okay, so now let's look at the peanut butter. So right here's a natural peanut butter. The main thing I look at is, uh, do they have peanuts and salt? Yes, this is good. Jiffy with honey, we, don't, we know that's gonna have sweet in it. Here's one with peanuts, sugar, and palm oil, okay? Skippies. This is tahini butter, that's fine. Richard's 100% pe peanuts, okay, good. So you just have to read the ingredients, you know? Molasses, they're putting molasses in there. It's gonna taste good, but it has too much sugar. We got the organic, okay? They're really using this to, uh, as a buzzword nowadays. Rustic white, no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. No high fructose corn syrup, because they know people don't like that stuff. But it still has enriched wheat. It still has, it still turns into sugar really fast. So it's a step up, but not that high of a step. It's always important to read labels, okay? especially if you're trying to get hummus. First of all, the label, you have to have a magnifying glass because it's like so tiny. Okay, but the first ingredients is canola oil. That's GMO, unfortunately. Soy oil. All right, we found one. Okay, so this is with sunflower oil. No soy oil. This is good. Okay, we found one. So always read the labels for the hidden ingredients. All right, guys, I'll see you next video. Got to feed these trick-or-treaters. I'm just going to go ahead and eat my normal snacks. All right.
Hey guys, so there's a whole bunch of people that really need this information. So press the share button and let's get it way out there.